Hey guys, it's Neil from GTR and this is a quick lesson to show you how to figure out all the chords and triads in a particular major key. This is useful for jamming uh, with friends and for songwriting. So first you need to know what key you're going to play in. So let's take G major. So how do we find out all the other chords and triads in the key of G major? Well, there's an easy pattern that you can learn and it applies to all major keys. So once you know it for this key, you'll know it for all the others as well. It goes like this. First is a major chord, G major in this case. You slide up two frets and play a minor chord. This is an A minor. Slide up another two. In this case, it's a B minor. So, so far we have major, Next you go back down to the G, but you move up to the next string and you play another major chord. In this case it's a C major. Slide up another two frets. Again you play a major. This is a D major. Then you slide up another two, but this time you play a minor. In this case it's an E minor. E minor. So, we've got major minor, minor, major, major, minor. Now you go back to the uh, major chord, the first major chord, and see we're on the third fret and you just move down one from there and you play a diminished triad. And that's the final triad before you go back to the G. So this is how it sounds. So say you want to write a song in the key of G major, you just uh, you know you just play some of these chords, and it doesn't really matter what uh, order you play them in. Uh, there are considerations, uh, you know, between uh, how how the chords will sound, but that's uh, for another lesson. If you go to the website and check out the section on Roman numerals, uh, that will explain how it all works. But for now, you can just try random chords. So start with the G. That's just a simple chord progression I just made up in the key of G major. Uh, as I said, it doesn't really matter which major uh, key you play it in, the pattern still holds. So if we try it in A major, just go up to we start on the A major. Again the same pattern. A major chord, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Diminished major. And that's it. Once you learn that pattern of chords and triads, you'll be able to easily figure out every major key.